Using processors with Intel's QuickSync makes for very capable Plex servers when it comes to Plex transcoding. As an added bonus, CPUs with QuickSync capable integrated graphics processors use very little power, so the costs of running a machine with an IGP like the UHD 630 are pretty low while the transcoding performance is pretty high. This is nothing new, as Intel has been using the same very capable UHD 630 IGP in their consumer CPUs for the last 4-ish years. That all changes with the new 11th gen lineup of processors, as they have thrown in a new UHD 750 IGP. So how well do these new 11th gen Intel CPUs stack up when it comes to Plex transcoding? With their shiny new QuickSync capable UHD 750 IGP, at least compared to the previous generation's UHD 630. Today we will answer that question with this cheap $200 i5 11500. I've been looking at replacing my current server, which is equipped with two E5 2690V2 processors and a GTX 1070, for a newer, QuickSync capable Intel CPU. I want to remove the NVIDIA GPU altogether to save both on electricity and to right size my own gear. Having two 2690V2 processors and a GTX 1070 is definitely overkill if you don't have a requirement of 30 plus simultaneous transcodes. I was looking at 8th gen i5s, and then I noticed Intel's newest 11th gen lineup comes equipped with a new UHD 750 IGP. If you need a refresher on Intel's QuickSync or QuickSync capable processors, you can watch one of our previous videos where I compared different generations and benchmarked the performance of different Intel IGPs. With each iteration of IGP, Intel has improved the performance and quality of H.264 and H.265 transcoding, as well as added compatibility with different video formats. With this newest generation, they've added decode support for HEVC 12-bit, VP9 12-bit, AV1, and AV1 10-bit. Having tested the performance of quite a few generations of QuickSync on different Intel processors, I was excited to get my hands on a CPU with this new UHD 750 IGP to put it through its paces. So with that, let's not waste any time and get straight into the benchmarks. The first test I ran with the new UHD 750 was transcoding H.265 3 megabits per second to H.264 to 12 megabits per second. I was able to achieve 22 transcodes before I started to observe buffering on clients. This is quite an improvement from the last generation's UHD 630, and even getting close to P2000 levels of performance. Being that this is probably the most common use case, this kind of performance is pretty exciting, especially from a processor that costs only around $200. The next test I ran was transcoding an H.264 12 megabit per second video file to H.264 at 10 megabits per second. The UHD 750 was able to get about 19 transcodes before I noticed buffering on clients. This surprised me, as I thought it would perform better in this test than in the H.265 test. Still, these results are pretty good even if they aren't P2000 levels, 19 transcodes is nothing to stick your nose up at. The next test I ran, I mostly ran for fun as I didn't expect very great results. I transcoded a 4K H.265 HDR video file to H.264 at 1080p. I could only achieve two transcodes as adding a third would start buffering on the other two. This is less than ideal, so I don't think transcoding 4K video files is a really great use case for this CPU at least today. I want to be clear about the gotchas real quick. At the time of recording this video, Unraid does not support this IGP out of the box. In fact, I was unable to find compatible drivers that would load in Unraid. This means that the native Plex Docker container in Unraid will not work, and you will have to use this GPU, or IGP, as I did in Windows to even get this to work in Plex. Obviously there are some huge drawbacks here. For instance, if you're running a Plex server in Unraid right now, this makes it mostly unusable at the moment. We can hope that in the coming weeks, and not months, there will be new code available in the kernel source for this new IGP, and it will become fully supported in Unraid. 
Today we can't take full advantage of this IGP for a Plex server use case in Unraid. The last thing I wanted to touch on was power consumption. During my tests while idling, the computer was running at around 33 watts. This is one of the biggest reasons I think using this as a Plex server makes so much sense. The power characteristics coupled with the transcoding performance of these processors is incredible. I would even go as far as to say it could pay for itself in electricity depending on how heavily used your Plex server is. Even under a load with transcodes, the whole computer stayed below 75 watts. This new CPU, and specifically its new IGP, sees a considerable boost when it comes to transcoding. While Intel didn't add much to overall compute performance with this new 11th generation lineup, the UHD 750 IGP is seeing decent performance gains for workflows like transcoding. For that reason, I wouldn't go as far as to call any of the new processors a waste of sand like Gamers Nexus did, as the IGP is measurably faster, and this could be quite beneficial depending on your use case. I know they were mostly referring to the higher-end SKUs when they made that comment, but with this IGP, if your use case is running a Plex server and you wanted the added performance benefits of the new UHD 750 IGP, you might consider picking up one of these higher-end SKUs to accommodate. Assuming you're running your server on Windows or you could just wait for the 12th gen lineup later this year. As I mentioned earlier, it still isn't compatible with Unraid. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about the transcoding performance of this new UHD 750 IGP. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe. We have some great videos coming up, like an updated 2021 version of our budget Plex server build guide. So subscribe so you don't miss them.